here's an interesting problem for you. Let's say you're, you're building a server and on the back end you have a number that's not very difficult to calculate but it's just slow enough that it makes you think. And to add insult to injury it only changes very rarely like let's say every couple of weeks. So obviously you're gonna cache that number right? You don't wanna calculate it every time for every request. So how do you do that? The simplest way to do it is with a memoization pattern. You're basically using your server's memory as a cache. So you save stuff in a class instance variable, which is shared between requests, and you reuse it until you realize that it's old and you refresh it. Basically, it works like this. Request comes in and you check the latest version of your variable. If it exists, you check if whatever the user is saying is newer than whatever you have stored. If it is newer, then you update your database, update your cache, then serve from cache. If it doesn't exist, then you go to updating your database, updating cache, serving request. If the user has is not newer, so it's either the same as whatever as the version you care about or older, then you serve from cache. In code, that looks like this. We have the latest function, which checks if the value is already saved and gets it if it isn't. And then we have the main check version uh, function, which gets the latest. Then if the user has something newer, we update our cache and the database. If it doesn't, we just use the same uh, saved value and update some metadata. Makes sense, right? It should work. So that seems like it would work. But here's the fun thing that happens. When you put it on a production environment and you have like 10 different servers on 10 different machines running, what happens is that they all think they have the latest number, but they don't. So you end up with like 20 different entries in the database for, hey, this, this number updated, here's the new number, because everyone has their own fucking cache. So you think to yourself, wait, how the hell did that happen? Well, the problem is that different servers don't actually share memory. So while your beautiful caching structure is caching for a single process on a single server, it's not caching for many processes on many servers. And the real issue here is that you thought, or I thought in this case, that you can solve one of the hardest problems in computer science all by yourself. The real answer is use somebody else's solution. And at least in my case, that other people's solution is to just use Rails built-in caching. It's already there, it works, it's shared between processes, between servers, and like, why didn't I just use it immediately? All you have to do is rails.cache, and then you use fetch for fetching and setting, and delete for resetting it. I have that down here. Why did they even bother? important 